Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Join me in the pledge, pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pleasure to welcome Broadhead's own Josie Picard, who is going to sing Hallelujah Veterans Version by Sailor Jerry. Josie. Packed your bags and shut the door. You crossed the sea to fight a war. You didn't know just what would happen to you. Stepped in the dirt, boots on the ground, and gunfire was the only sound. And to yourself you whispered, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Every day and every night, you walk the walk, you fight the fight, you never saw the end in sight, now did ya? The days of wash and a haze of red, the blood, the mud, too many dead, your weary soul was crying, hallelujah, hallelujah. To help you hear a shot, you know you're in a deadly spot. You never thought this day would come, now did ya? Your brother falls down to the ground, the enemy is all around, and from your lips you screamed a hallelujah, hallelujah. Till it was done, you have the strength to carry on. 
Wisconsin National Guard Color Guard retires our colors. Speaker Joel Steinman, commander of the Broadhead VFW. Joel. Thank you. Thank you, Comrade Sutherland. Good evening, everyone. What a beautiful day it's turned out to be. It's great to see you all here. Again, as he introduced me, I'm Joel Steinman, the commander of the VFW Post here in Broadhead. I want to take the time to Thank everyone on the committee that set this up today. What a wonderful job you have done. Your many hours and dedication to the community is wonderful. Thank you all. I also want to send out a quick get well to one of our post members who's going to be the original speaker tonight for uh, Mr. Graves. Speedy recovery and see you soon, sir. I know I won't be as good as Jim, but I hope to do him proud. A little bit about myself. I grew up on a small farm outside of Monroe, the son of Pete and Roxy. I was the youngest one of seven kids, or one of the youngest ones of seven kids. I got my twin brother beat by nine minutes. He always loves me when I say that. After uh, graduating high school, I joined the Marines in 1987. And after boot camp, I was given the MOS, or for you civilians, it's the job to be a helicopter mechanic. I was stationed on the west coast in Southern California. I was able to travel the world and meet some of the greatest people. And then, just about this time, 30 years ago, 1991, after spending many months in the, in the sandbox in Saudi Arabia after Desert Storm, I got out, came back to Wisconsin, in hopes to get married and raise a family, in which I did. My wife, Val, and I moved here to Broadhead in 1997, and we raised our four wonderful children. Sydney, Cole, Noah, and Joey. Since moving here, I've been involved in many and several different organizations. But being part of the VFW and working alongside the veterans of the American Legion and the AMVETS is truly the most humbling of them all. The first day I walked into the post meeting, I felt, do I really belong? <clears throat> I'm sitting alongside World War II, Korean, and Vietnam veterans. What I learned in the history books, these men and women lived. Many of them were drafted and had no choice but to pack up and leave their families. Some didn't make it home. Some came home in full uniform to a parade and welcomed with open arms. And some came home, had to change into civilian clothing, mm -hmm. and sneak through the airport to get home. 
I want to say thank you, and to each of you, welcome home. We haven't had the draft since the end of the Vietnam War. So each of these veterans have their own reasons for joining the branch of service they believe is best. But we all know it's the Marines, right? Here we go. Yeah. We will joke about it, the different reasons between ourselves, but there's one reason we all have in common, and that is the love for our country. She owes us nothing, we owe her everything. We've had happy times and we've had sad times, but the best part of the times together. Our comradeship after our post meetings is the best part of the meetings. With a couple beers or sodas flowing, we each have our own stories to tell about our time in the service. Some we can share and some we can't. We might be of different generation, but many of the stories are the same. So what I learned from that first day I walked into that post meeting is my respect to my fellow veterans and the respect paid back to me never wavered. We are brothers and sisters forever. So as we celebrate tonight and in a week on the 4th, we get ready to enjoy some more fireworks and to spend time with our families, remember, to take a few minutes to remember the men and women that have served and are serving. Taking the time to chat with that veteran you see around town, you will find out he or she loves to hear about you as much as you hear about them. Your success lets them know that we made the right choice to serve this country. I salute you veterans. Enjoy the rest of this program and the fireworks tonight. Bless each of you and bless this great nation. Thank you.